Hello and welcome to another War Thunder flight model analysis. Today I will be reviewing the I-185 Russian fighter. Uh, this video will be a little bit shorter than most of my flight model analysis because the Russian planes never really have much data in terms of graphs and in-depth charts and stuff. But I do have data on it and I'm going to do my best to figure out if it's represented accurately in War Thunder. So without further ado, let's get to the tests. Alright, so first I just need to make a few clarifications before I go on. The data that I'm using for these tests is from a book called Soviet Air Power in World War II, and this is a little picture I took on my phone from that book. That's the numbers that I'm going to be using, and you can see there's an I-185 and then another I-185, but one of them is using the M-71 engine and the other the M-82 engine. And the one that we have currently in War Thunder is supposedly the M-82 version and this will be important later when I get past the speed tests. And so first up in regards to testing I have the top speed test and you can see at sea level I'm getting 556 kilometers per hour and at about 6470 meters I clocked in the top speed at around 631 kilometers per hour. And here you can compare those numbers that I just got with the numbers from the book that I mentioned earlier that I'm using for all my data. And uh, you can see that it is overperforming by a pretty good margin. In fact, the top speeds of the I-185 in-game is almost exactly the same as the top speeds of the plane with the M71 engine in real life. And remember, as I said before, the version that we have in-game is supposed to be the M82 version. And even the numbers on the stat card in-game represent the performance numbers of the I-185 with the M82 engine. So there's no mistaking that Gaijin meant to model the M82 version of the I-185. It's just a little bit weird how they seem to have given it the exact performance numbers in regards to speed of the M71 version of the I-185. Alright, moving on to the climb rate test. I climbed from sea level to 5,000 meters at around 280 kilometers per hour indicated on manual engine controls. And these are the numbers that I got. And as you can see, the I-185 is completely and blatantly overperforming in regards to climb rate. Um, 3.88 minutes is not really anywhere close to 6 minutes, or really even anywhere close to 5.2 minutes, which is the time that it takes to climb to 5,000 meters associated with the M71 engine variant of the I-185. And uh, the number I got wasn't anywhere close to either of them, and it outperforms both. So I'm not really sure where Gaijin got that info from, but it's clearly not right. Now moving on to the dive and high speed handling of the I-185. The plane starts to redline at about 584 kilometers per hour indicated, and that's similar to the LA-5FN. And as you can see, the plane has zero control forces modeled at high speeds. And I believe this is what's causing a bunch of people to call it a UFO. Because uh, it can do a lot of stuff that most other planes in the game currently can't. Like pretend that drag doesn't exist. The I-185 did not have hydraulically actuated controls, so yeah, the plane is not really realistic in that sense. Alright, now on to the stall test. See, I'm pulling as hard as I can on the stick with combat flaps out, and the uh, leading edge slats seem to prevent the plane from stalling whenever you have the combat flaps out, but once you put them up to the raised position, the plane immediately goes into a violent spin, which is fairly difficult to pull out of. So yeah, the plane does stall, but for some reason it's really difficult to get it to stall with combat flaps out. And onto the powerless loop test. So pulling full elevator. The plane goes into a spin. I keep the elevator pulled. It gets worse, so it checks out in this test as well. It does stall in both my tests, so I'd say it's pretty good in that regard. But unfortunately the plane does not fare so well in most other regards. It has the speed performance of the same plane with a different engine, 
its climb is significantly overperforming, over and to think that this plane was on the list of 100% completed white models by Gaijin, it's just astounding to me, and it just goes to show, never trust Gaijin's word for it if they say something's been fixed or if they say something's been 100% completed. If you're curious about something, just test it out yourself. Well, that's all I have for this video, I'll see you in my next one.